Hey guys, this is JBigTicket23 from GreatPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade and optimize your uh, Precision T7600 for, for gaming and other high-end computing. Um, so, first thing you want to do is go to GreatPCGamers.com, go to the blog, uh, search T7600, because that's the workstation I'm assuming you have if you're watching this video. Um, on this page, we show you um, processor upgrade ideas, uh, memory, uh, NVMe drives, solid state drives, conventional SATA drives, um, graphics cards, uh, monitors, sample configurations. So go to this page. We uh, we even have links if you want to uh, follow them and order them on like Amazon or some other sites that we uh, refer to. Uh, but yeah, everything that we install uh, will be on this page plus, plus even more. Uh, it's a completely free resource, so definitely check this out. Okay, so let's get to the gaming build. Um, so our current T7600 had two um, Xeon quad-core E52643 procs. Um, they're going to do the job. They're going to be perfect for what we're doing. If you have lower-end procs, you should consider upgrading them. Um, our system already had them base. Um, it's got 32 gig of DDR3 RAM. Uh, that's plenty of RAM. Uh, typically, we do like uh, 16 to 24 gig, uh, so 32 is fine. Um, we have a Samsung 256 gig um, uh, SATA solid state drive. We're going to use that as our boot device. Um, and here's the one of the big upgrades that we're installing. It's a 512 gig Western Digital Black NVMe.2 solid state drive. Um, so that's one of our big upgrades. Uh, we'll get into that further in the video. And then we are going to put an EVGA NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti SE2 graphics card. Um, that's our, our other big upgrade compared to what we had installed in the system before. Um, another thing to note is we have a 1300 watt power supply in the system. Um, so if you really wanted to, you could add another graphics card if you wanted to run SLI. All right, so here's um, a look at the components that we are installing. Um, we're doing a 1080 Ti, as we already said, and this NVMe drive. Now, we are required to install an NVMe adapter with this card, and we'll show you that as we move along th th uh, in the video. All right, so let's take a peek inside the chassis. This system is... I would say about 15% larger than a standard mini tower workstation. So it gives us lots of I.O. slots. Um, we're going to install our graphics card into this blue slot right here. It takes up two PCI blanks. Uh, we have two procs installed. So we have eight physical cores. And what that means in the T7600 is it means that I unlock these two I.O. slots on the top. If you only have one processor installed, you can't use those two slots on top. Okay. So... You might be asking yourself, why install an NVMe.2 solid state drive if you can't boot to it? And if you didn't know, you cannot boot to an NVMe.2 drive in a Precision T7600 workstation. Uh, the reason why we're going to install it is because even though we can't boot to it, we can still access it as a, in our case, I think we're going to use it as an uh, F or a D drive. Um, so we can still put our large programs or files or games on the NVMe drive. We can put our Steam library on there or Ubisoft or wherever you play. Uh, so put you would put all those large files on the NVMe drive because the NVMe is, is typically, depending on which one you get, about five to six times faster than a conventional um, SATA solid state drive. Um, so and it, and it ranges on which brand you buy, um, how new it is. So that's why we use NVMe because we want to open up our games like super fast. Okay, so let's install our NVMe drive first. As we said below or before, you do need a adapter card to install this NVMe chip inside your system. Um, we do have the adapter posted on greenpcgamers.com as well as the NVMe drive. So if you're wondering which ones we use, uh, we have links on there so you can order them if you want. So we're going to install in this top slot. Remove your PCI blank. Line your card up and push it right into the slot and then put your retention clip back on. Now, if you need help actually learning how to install the NVMe, like put the assembly together, we have another video. So um, you can search that on our channel and it'll show you how to install that NVMe chip inside of that PCI card. All right, here's our GTX 1080 Ti. As you can see, this card has uh, requires a 6-pin and 8-pin auxiliary uh, power. Um, so the, what's cool is the T7600 has two 6-pin and one 8-pin um, auxiliary power uh, built into it right off the power supply harness. 
So you don't need any additional adapters uh, to install those uh, or to plug in that auxiliary power. So line your card up, push it right in, retention clips go back on, and now you need to do your power. Now one one thing to note is after you install these these power adapters, there this card is pretty large, um, or this graphics card. So it, it makes it a little bit tougher to install or, or put the side panel back on. And now it will clip on, but it's just a little bit tough. They make um, adapters that you can buy that are not as stiff as the uh, stock 8-pin uh, and 6-pin adapters. So you would basically connect the adapter on, and uh, they, they allow you to shut the side panel a little bit better. Um, in our case, we're going to just make it work, and we'll shut our side panel. All right, so our card's installed. This is what the card looks like after you've installed it. Uh, we've got three display ports, one HDMI port, one DVI port, um, 1300 watt power supply. Here's some other, and there's our NVMe drive. Okay, so now, now that we've installed the hardware, now we have to enable the NVMe drive in the disk management inside Windows 10, and it's the same concept in Windows 7. So when you installed it, or when you install it, it just doesn't automatically see that drive typically unless you've already used it in another system, then it might pop up right away. So we have to go into disk management. We see that it's here, it's disk zero, it's unallocated. We're gonna give it a new simple volume. And it's gonna be the D drive. And then we're gonna name it super fast drive because this is where we want all of our large programs or large files or large, you know, games to, to open up off of. So everything, you know, if you do, like, a, like I said, a Steam library, Ubisoft, um, any game library you should install on your super fast NVMe drive. Okay, so once that's enabled, now you can use it. You can start saving stuff to it. Um, and let's take a look and see. And we see it right there. Nothing on it, completely fresh, ready to install, you know, whatever we want to put on there. All right, so uh, the next step, it's super important, is you want to install the latest, the latest NVIDIA graphics driver. So go to NVIDIA.com, click on Drivers, go to GeForce Drivers. And, of course, this their page changes sometimes, so you'll have to uh, navigate. Um, go to GeForce 10 Series, um, 1080 Ti, make sure your OS is correct start search and go ahead and download the latest driver now this may be different for you because obviously this is 2018 um, so if you're doing this later in life um, you will need to um, just you know get the latest one um, and uh, that will help you optimize your games because it'll install the GeForce experience um, all right, so here's a benchmark we're running. It's on a game called Tom Clancy's The Division. Um, this game is awesome for benchmarks because it's pretty heavy on CPU and GPU. Um, so we're expecting over 100 frames um, and on high slash ultra settings. Um, so let's take a look and see what we get. All right, so we averaged 121 frames which is great. Average CPU was 48%. Average GPU was 88%. So this system, like, it worked really, really well um, for what we are, uh, what we build. And so I would say that this system, you know, although we did spend a considerable amount on uh, that graphics card is about $800. Um, the NVMe drive, all in all, is about 150 after uh, the adapter. Um, after we've done that, we've optimized this system very well for gaming. Um, if you use a NVIDIA Quadro graphics card, you're going to see a fraction of the frames that you're seeing. So if, if anything, do a graphics card upgrade. Um, look at GreenPCGamers.com. There's cheaper graphic card, graphics cards options on there if you can't afford a 1080 Ti. Um, but all in all, um, this is a pretty solid uh, T7600 gaming build. Again, uh, visit GreenPCGamers.com for additional content. Um, if this video was helpful to you, uh, definitely subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel. Um, if you want to ask live hardware questions, go to GreenPCGamers.com, click on Streamers. You can follow me on Twitch and ask live hardware questions just by clicking on this link right here. Um, thank you so much for watching.